Here at PACAR, we've assembled a team of some of the smartest people available in the automotive space. We come from all over the world with all different life experiences and with very different technical backgrounds. Packer is known for quality and we produce a product that's on the premium end of the market and really where that comes from is the people working here at Packer. My name is Phil Stevenson. I'm general manager here at the Packer Technical Center and we're responsible for a lot of phases of engine development. So we've been working on the Packard MX engine for a number of years, and we are literally running up against the limits of thermodynamics. Uh, so the next step is to really uh, optimize that overall powertrain configuration with the vehicle. So when we talk about powered by quality, we're really starting from the quality of the engineering work, the quality of the science behind some of the technology that goes into our engine. Oh, there is a great symbiosis between technicians and engineers at the Packard Technical Center. We really leverage the knowledge and expertise of the two fields. So there's quality all along the line before we ever get to Columbus and, and start manufacturing engines. Being the only engine plant for Packard in North America, we have total responsibility to ensure that we're achieving the output that is expected of us at the quality level that is expected and, and meeting all the needs of our customers, which are the truck facilities. Here at the engine company, we produce the heart of the truck, the MX-13 or MX-11 engine. Three, four years ago, we only had engine test cells and they were great. We added a powertrain test cell that allows us to test an engine, a transmission, an after-treatment system, and an axle as a system. We're able to optimize weight, fuel economy, and performance. And with the powertrain cell that we have, we're able to run a wide variety of customer cycles. And we've got a lot of tools here that allow us to do that. In many ways, we can simulate the effect of a new design, a new component, a new material, all in 3D computer simulation. Based on that simulation, we can build prototypes. We're using 3D printers to evaluate early designs, to accelerate the process between conception of an idea, through the development and testing of prototypes, and eventually releasing it to the field. We can take those components, install them in a test engine, run that engine, and check what the effects are in terms of fuel economy, durability, performance, etc. And so finding that sweet spot where we can be efficient, where we can be very clean, and where we can be cost effective really motivates a lot of our engineers to deliver the highest quality product to our customer. So we utilize a few quality checks throughout production, both in machining and assembly. Every employee has a badge. It's a digital signature of the work they've completed. Each station has this badge. So when the work is completed, they tap their badge, it releases the product to go downstream. So it gives you a sense of pride in the work that you're producing. If you talk to anyone in the assembly floor, it's very likely that they know someone who drives a truck. So for a lot of us, it's personal. And I think that comes across in everything these guys do when they're building the engine. They're proud of the product they're building because they know it touches lives. Uh, one of the things that we focused on is also data collection. And that allows us to drive continuous improvement. And what we can do is we can take that information and then tie it back to our original designs and make sure that you know we thought that the product was supposed to do X and then we can look at it in that particular configuration and make sure that it's, it's doing what we expected it to do. So at Packard, we use a B10 life of a million miles as our design target. And what that means is that 90% of our engines will go one million miles without needing a major overhaul. And that's important to our customer because not just our first line customer, but even the second line customer will, will drive the vehicle a million miles. And so we will tear down engines. And what we see is that engine looks fantastic. One of the jokes that we have here is the technicians doing that work, they look at it and they say, why don't we just put it back together and send it back out on the road. It's a good looking engine. So we're known to be powered by quality. It comes from the top and it's a part of every program we do. And what that means is that the people and the talent that are working here are all working together to develop high quality products for the company. Our customers demand a quality product. 
And because of that, it means everything to me. As the plant quality manager, it's my job each day to ensure that we're not controlling quality, but we're assuring quality into our product. Pack car quality to me means that the operator of the vehicle, the owner of the vehicle, doesn't need to think about the vehicle as they're doing their day-to-day -day job. So they know that every day they'll get into that truck and they'll start it and it's gonna work and it's gonna be able to do that job day in and day out.